Todd Boy. I'm a relationship intimacy and sex therapist uh, with about 30 years of experience in, in working with individuals, couples, and families, allowing them to create their greatest lives. This is an opportunity, my offering to the world, where I allow you to come and ask questions that are pressing, things that you may not be able to ask other people, ask me, that you can continue to join us on this journey of being our greatest selves and living a life worth celebrating. So without further ado, allow me to share the question that has come, come to us or come to me from Leslie S. in Raleigh, North Carolina. She's 32 years old and she's asking the question, uh, how do I think that, that how do I think that social media influences relationships? Well, actually, I believe it can be in positive and adverse ways of impacting relationships. First, we'll start off with the positive. Number one is that it can, spont it can encourage and inspire spontaneity and creativeness. As we're aware of varying products, varying people sharing things about the relationships, date nights, things of that nature, it can foster creativity in that now as some of us have challenges trying to figure out how to date, how to create spontaneity and doing variable things in our relationships to keep it exciting, eventful, things of that nature. Again, it allows us to utilize that as a resource to be creative. Also, you know, when it comes to dating, you see ads for restaurants, you may see products that your partner enjoys, enjoys that you can share with them. Uh, again, you see trinkets. I've even in watch where they have questions, varying questions for relationships for people to inspire conversation. So in that vein, it can be very positive, but it can also be adverse. And firstly, when it comes to being adverse is too often times people can begin and end their day on social media. So think about this, that you, here it is, I'm in a relationship with a person, but the first thing in the morning before I say good morning, I'm reaching for my phone. Or before I go to bed at night and I'm not even saying I love you, kiss you, good night, you're, you're on social media. What happens when your partner wants to be intimate, things of that nature, and they're wrestling between you and social media? Actually, as much time as we spend on our phones, flipping, swiping, doing the things that we do, you know, are we really in relationships with with the partner we have or are we in relationship with the people on social media? Because again, even in my office, that turns out to be a, a factor sometimes because number one, people are spending too much time on social media. Social media has also facilitated initiating affairs because old you have access to old loves, old relationships. And surprisingly though, it, it happens more often than not. So there are a number of adverse, adverse uh, conditions that it can facilitate. You know, even when I think about this, there was a time I went on a date during social media time. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, excuse me. That was from my, my, own, my own whim, whatever. So, but during social media time and in the midst of the date and the first date with, uh, with, a, with a person, the person was on the phone most of the date or a prior, the primary part of the date, the initial part of the date. And I said to, I said to her, I said, hey, I appreciate you accepting this date, but I think the date is over because I came to have a conversation, not to look at the top of her head. You know, I, I, recognize, I recognize that may not have been the nicest thing to say. However, when you're spending money to take someone on a date, I'd actually want to be in a relationship with the person, communicate, find out who they are. But meanwhile, they're they're talking about on social media, the restaurant we're at, they're taking a picture of the food, and I'm sitting here, the one paying for it, saying, hey, th this is why I'm here, so forth. So from that perspective, you really have to, to balance. And I think that's the important word with social media and relationships, balance. Never allow the, the social media to be a key point in the relationship or too much of a focal point in the relationship, more so than the relationship itself. Because again, those things that we see on social media and what people are posting on social media may not always be accurate. Remember, in social media, they tell you what they want you to know, not actually what the truth is. So oftentimes, people are comparing their relationship with people on social media at their professing the joys, the loves of their relationship, but that's not the, the sum total of their relationship. And if you compare your whole life to a snippet of somebody else's, it's an in, 
inappropriate comparison. Therefore, you come home and, and you're you're berating your partner because, oh, we're not doing what this person is doing or doing what this person is doing. Yeah, and those couples aren't doing some of the things that you're doing that, that you benefit from. And again, I encourage people to focus more on the relationship they're in as opposed to all of the distractions and data points around. So again, when it comes to, to social media, it can be a, a positive from a creative standpoint, but it can also have its adverse impact in regards to eroding the relationship because social media and how much we're spending time on the phone, your partner can feel the relationship you have is with social media and not with them. Again, Leslie, I thank you for this question and I'd like for those that are listening and for those that are sharing in, in this response to like this video leave feedback or, or comment on what you've heard or even a question that you may have. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and also on the YouTube channel, press the notification bell so that you will be notified when new content is being made available. And you can continue this ride and journey with us to a life worth celebrating. I thank you so very much for your time and your attention. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Take care.